I'm putting new drawers in the back of my car and this is the end result. I've installed them on gas struts so that I can access my third row seat storage. There's plenty of space wasted when you put the drawers on that you can turn into your dual battery system. You can put a water tank underneath, have an ARB 60 litre fridge, still plenty of room on the top of it. Um, the gas struts are able to take the weight. You're able to bend it down, use the drawers as normal. And just with one hand, lift it up, the gas struts take the rest. And yeah, filming from changing from the Titans to Maxi Track. So I've put the drawers into the back of my car and I've lined them up so that they're in the middle and I'm pretty happy I can still shut the door, I can still put my second row seats down. I've um, already lifted the carpet up and I've just got some gate hinges, just some good strong ones and I've drilled two holes, I'm going to drill two more and get under the car and actually secure them, I've just sort of put them in. But yeah, make sure that your drawers are in the position before you start drilling and make sure you use some nice good bolts so that it can hold and obviously withstand the weight of the fridge and the drawers moving up and down. But yeah, so that's the first main step after you've measured everything and lined it up and you're pretty happy with how it looks. So I've marked out where I'm going to attach the hinges to the drawers. Just three circles, going to need three bolts on this side and three on the other side. You can attach a third hinge in the middle if you want to. I haven't bothered and I haven't had a problem with it, so yeah. the hinges on so now the drawers can lift up you can see where I've put the screws in the very back of the drawers now that we have it positioned where we want and we've got the hinges on you're gonna want to lift this up gently have it resting like that and you're gonna need some builders angle brackets just two one for each side and we're gonna install them along here somewhere for the gas struts to actually sit onto. You're going to want to put the ball point of the gas strut sitting around about 380 from the top of the drawer to where the gas strut actually sits. So I've marked that out there and I've used a builder's angle bracket and I've put a mark and I lined it up and I was actually able, there's a hole already at the bottom pre-drilled in, I only had to drill one at the top. So if you have the maxi track system, you could even just get your builder's angle bracket, line it up, and as long as the bottom one lines up, you'll just have to drill where the top is. With the King's drawers that I had in previously, I used two pre-existing holes and I didn't even have to drill. So they're fairly similar. Um, you don't have to have it at 380. I just, where I feel confident on having the gas strut is 380 from the top of the drawer system down to the bottom. And yeah, so I'm just going to have to bolt that in and then I'll just have to put the little ball point on the builder's bracket there, sit it on like that and do that on the other side and we'll be nearly done. This is the end result. And then you want to drop your drawers back down. And as you can see, I did have to cut a little bit out of the plastic on this one because when the gas strut opens up, it takes out. When I first installed it, I didn't have this trim on at all. I put it on after the fact, so it is easier to take it off on both sides if this is what you are doing. But yeah, pretty much, I'm just gonna have to clip the gas strut onto there and then I've put the, I've already put the angle bracket on, but I'll show you that a little bit more in a second. I've installed the angle brackets that the gas struts are going to sit to, and I've just used two self drilling screws on each side, and keep the original tie down points, you'll see why at the very end. So I've done that on this side, on both sides, 
and then drop your drawers back down and you can see where they line up and part of the gash nut's gonna sit there part of it's gonna sit there these are the gash nuts that I am using they're 350 long I'm pretty sure by 10 mil and they have been able to support my previous drawers my Titan drawers with a fridge on them so you can have a look at the the numbers on it if you like I've clipped the gash dots onto the first little ball point and I'm just going to have to drop the drawers down and try to clip it in. It is a little bit heavy and hard doing it by yourself, but oh well. So that's them clipped in, nice, and while I don't have any drawers in the drawers or the fridge, they are gassed up for a heavy weight, so they are a little bit hard to push down at first. Um, so let me put some drawers in and we'll give that a go. So this is pretty much the end result. As you can see, there's so much room where the third row seats used to sit. And it's such a waste of space when you put the drawers on, because you know, you can fit all your recovery gear. You can set up a dual battery system in here. There's endless possibilities of what you can do on this underneath storage. So here you can see the drawers go back down. They work just like normal and only need like a little bit of a push and they're up and they can support their own weight. Plenty of storage chucking if you want. So pretty happy with that. So the reason why you kept these little eyelets is I haven't found a good locking mechanism to actually lock this half of the drawers down. So at the moment, I just run a ratchet strap around, loop it back, and when I'm four wheel driving, it keeps it nice and secure and it doesn't rattle and it doesn't bounce. So that's just a little temporary thing that I have at the moment until I find a better locking mechanism to put in, but it seems to work quite well and I don't mind taking the ratchet strap off every time I wanna hinge them up. So that's the only reason why I've kept them. If you can think of a better way to lock down or secure the drawers, let me know because I don't have many ideas.